ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ വെൽക്കം ടു അ നെറ്റ് അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ മിഡ് വൈഫ് ടുഡേസ് അവർ ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് ഫേസ് പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഇൻ ദ പ്രാക്ടിക്കൽ പോയിൻ്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂ ഫേസ് പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഈസ് ആൻ ഇന്നവിറ്റബിൾ പോർഷൻ ഫോർ നഴ്സിംഗ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ ആം ഗോയിങ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ അബൌട്ട് ഫേസ് പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഇറ്റിയോളജി ഓഫ് ഫേസ് പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പൊസിഷൻസ് ക്യാൻ ബി എക്സ്പെക്റ്റഡ് ഇൻ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഫേസ് പ്രസൻറ്റേഷൻ ഡയഗ്നോസിസ് ഓഫ് face presentation and at last i will explain about the mechanism of labor i have a request to all of you don't skip the video until the end it's damn sure this video will be useful for my viewers so without wasting time let's start our today's section face presentation face presentation is a cephalic presentation in which the head is completely extended The incident of face presentation is about 1 in 500 labors. Here we'll explain about the etiology of face presentation. It can be divided into primary and secondary. First we'll see the fetal cause during pregnancy. The first one will be congenital malformation which include anencephaly, goiter, dolichocephaly head and bronchocephaly. Next one will be twist of cord around the neck. The third one is hypertonicity of extensor group of neck muscles. Next we will see the maternal cause during the onset of labor. The first one is multiparity with the pendulous abdomen. Next one lateral obliquity of uterus, contracted pelvis, flat pelvis and last one will be the pelvic tumors. Now I will explain about the diagnosis of face presentation. During pregnancy it is very difficult to feel the fetal bike the limbs are felt more prominent in mendo anterior position the chin may be felt on the same side of the limbs as the horseshoe shaped rim in mendo anterior position in mendo posterior a groove may be felt between the occiput and the bike particularly after rupture of the membrane while doing the second pelvic grip the occiput is at the higher level than the sinciput the fetal heart rate are heard below the umbilicus through the fetal chest wall in mento anterior position in case of ultrasound or x ray we can confirm the diagnosis and may identify associated fetal anomalies as anencephaly during labor vaginal examination shows the following identify features of face such as supra orbital ridge the malar process the nose the mouth with hard areolar ridges and the chin during late in labor the face become edematous so it can be misdiagnosed as buttocks where the two cheeks are mistaken with the buttocks and the mouth with the anus and the malar process with the ischial tuberosities here i will explain about different positions in case of face presentation these are right mendo posterior left mendo posterior left mendo anterior right mendo anterior these are the more common position right mendo transverse left mendo transverse direct mendo posterior and direct mendo anterior are rare and usually transient positions in case of mendo posterior position there will be a long anterior rotation that is 3 by 8th of the circle so the head is delivered as mendo anterior in about 1 by 3rd of the case one of the following may occurs the first one will be deep transverse arrest the deep transverse arrest of the face can be occurs when the chin rotate 1 by 8th of the circle anteriorly in case of persistent mendo posterior there will not be no rotation occurs in case of direct mendo posterior when the chin rotate 1 by 8th circle posteriorly in the last three condition no further progress occurs and labor is obstructed in case of direct mendo posterior unlike direct occipito posterior the delivery cannot be occurs because the delivery should occurs by extension while the head is already maximally extended 
as the length of the sacrum is 10 cm and that of neck is only 5 cm the shoulder enters the pelvis and become impacted while the head still in the pelvis thus the labor is obstructed here we reach the last section of our today's topic that is mechanism of labor in case of face presentation here i will explain left mento anterior with the help of a video so please have a look on it let's start our mechanism of labor in case of face presentation before moving to the cardinal movement we'll see the possible findings of face presentation lie is longitudinal attitude is one of the extension of the fetal head and neck presentation is face denominator is the mentum presenting part is left malar bone position is left mento anterior diameter is submento brachmatic that is 9.5 cm engagement takes place in the submento brachmatic that is 9.5 cm the mentum touches the left iliopectineal eminence and the occiput touches the right sacroiliac joint next extension descent takes place with increased extension the mentum become the leading part it touches the pelvic floor will rotate forward 1 by 8th of the circle along the left side and lies under the symphysis pubis then the chin comes under the hollow of the sacrum birth of the head by double cardinal movement called flexion and extension also sinciput vertex and occiput sweeps the perineum next will be the restitution chin turn 1 by 8th of the circle to the left side of the mother internal rotation of the shoulder from left oblique diameter to anterior posterior diameter then the anterior shoulder rotate anteriorly through the right side of the mother it comes under the symphysis pubis at the same time external rotation of the head also takes place towards the left side now the body is in the same alignment anterior shoulder escape under the symphysis pubis posterior shoulder sweeps the perineum the whole body delivered by lateral flexion towards the mother's abdomen so this is about the mechanism of labor in case of left mento anterior i hope all of you understood about the mechanism of labor this is our end of today's section so in the next class we will meet with an another episode of midwifery topic till that take care bye bye